All right, let's get started. Usually what you're gonna see at the top here is absolutely nothing, right? So what I'm gonna do is show you how to get this toolbar where you can watch lives and stories and download stories. Um, I did this video a couple of years ago, but some of the steps have changed. So if you really want to see step-by-step -step instructions, I've updated my blog, which I know a lot of you are headed over to. I'll go ahead and leave the link down um, in the description box. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into the steps that you need. So the first thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need to install Chrome. This only works with the Chrome browser. And what we're gonna be using are Chrome extensions. I'll also leave the link to the extensions below. Think of extensions kind of like apps that you add on your phone or install to make them easier. Chrome has apps. I'm gonna show you in the top right-hand corner. There's a couple up here. Um, and the extension that we're looking for, I'm gonna tell you the one that I'm using. However, there are tons of different IG story um, extensions. So if I look for Instagram Live, oops, and I wanna spell it right, I can look and find all kinds of different ways to download and do all kinds of different things, basically. The one that we're looking for is IG Stories for Instagram. Actually, the first one that's set up at the top there, and I'm simply gonna click on Add to Chrome and Add Extensions. Now, if this doesn't happen for you, you may have a pop-up blocker, so you're gonna wanna check the corner of your browser right here and allow it. So again, if you get something that doesn't pop up, you can't install it, um, click in this area and you'll be able to select allow, close your browser, reopen it, and then you'll be fine. Okay, so this one is installed and I know it's installed because one, there's a pop-up, but two, you actually see this download button. So I'm gonna go back to Instagram. And in this case, I'm just gonna hit enter to refresh the page. If it doesn't work, you may need to close your browser. That means close Chrome and reopen it. So before we jump into watching, I do want to give you this quick tip about extensions for Chrome or any other browser that you're using. You always wanna check the security that it's using. I'll include more information below, but quickly, this is what you need to do. Make sure you're on Instagram.com and then I'm going to right click on the extension and make sure I can only read the data or basically only interact with my Chrome when I'm using Instagram, or if you'd like, you can say when you click the extension, that would just be an extra step that you do when you come to Instagram. But this is just something you should do with each of the extensions that you install, just to make sure it only has access to sites that you want it to have access to. All right, let's keep going. So here you'll see that we have someone going live. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it here. And when they're live, you'll see that you can actually make this full screen by clicking here. What I do like is when you get out of that screen, let's see, and click it twice, you can um, actually see additional data um, on other people's stories and use the app in a few other ways. I'm not gonna get into that in detail, but you can download stories, do a lot of additional things, but we're really just concerned with going live, so you'll see that icon anytime someone goes live and you just jump in. No comments, but you can still jump into the live, uh, cast it to your TV or whatever you'd like to do. If you have questions about this or anything else related to Instagram, go ahead and leave comments below and let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.